planning at the beach, but it never panned out because nobody wanted to go to the beach with me. But yeah, it's just super cute. The next bag I got was this like fake fur tote. And I actually, I actually planned to wear this for not a picture I wanted to take, but that also didn't end up happening, but it's still cute. The next bag I got is this like crocodile, I think print tote bag. This one was actually thrifted. I got it at Goodwill. There's stuff in here because this is like my everyday bag now. And yeah, I just really like it. It's sturdy. I always get compliments whenever I wear it out or anything like that. I had an Uber driver compliment me on this once. The next accessory I got was this garment belt. These are pretty much the only kinds of belts I wear. It has two sets of holes and I pretty much wore this every day to work during the summer. Then this is also from Shein. This belt was also from Shein. It's kind of like the other one, but it only has one set of grommets and then it has studs in between. I got this white grommet belt from Shein. It also has two sets of studs and it's just a really good staple for the closet. The next thing I got was this hat from Depop. It says Kangol and it's made out of this fake, I don't even know what kind of thing it, it's nylon and angora i don't know what that is it's really cute i just try it on right now i planned a lot of outfits for this hat but obviously we still can't go to anything or do anything so that didn't end up happening either but i'm still gonna save it for whenever i can wear it so next i'm gonna go into the tops that i've gotten First is this dragon t-shirt from Shein. So I feel like this kind of shows like what an impulsive buyer I am just because literally I saw a girl on TikTok wearing this exact shirt and I bought it literally the next minute. Um, and it's really, really soft and it's better quality than I would ever expect from Shein. So it's pretty exciting and I think I made a good purchase. So these are both the same kind of top. They're like these really trendy, like blurry sleeve tops and then that tie in the middle. Got this in black and brown. And I also got it in white, but I don't know where the white one is, but I'll probably put it in my try on. If not, I'll probably just delete the part where I talk about it. The next thing I got was this satin green kind of like tie back top these are pretty much everywhere uh, this was from shein i really really like the color and i thought it would look good on my skin which i think it does because i always get compliments when i wear it next i got this blue knockoff unif top um it looks pretty much like the real thing except it doesn't have the unif tag but girl you can tell that it is a knockoff because it is fraying but Honestly, if you are close enough to see that, you are too close to me, so it's really fine. I got this scarf, but I wear it as a shirt, uh, so scarf top from Depop. It's like alligator, I don't really, I don't know. Oh, it's like snake print. So yeah, it's like brown and pretty cute. I got this t-shirt, it was thrifted. I got it from Unique Vintage in Maryland. I think it's really cute. I usually go for things that are a little more like spicy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but it's uh, it's like has like a skeleton playing a guitar with purple. I haven't gone to wear it yet. That's why the tags are still on. I got this like prop this week earlier. This Next thing I got from Depop was another spicy top. It says five finger death punch and it has a skeleton man and then the bottom I really like it says got your six and I just and he's like has like a chainsaw and it's all bloody. I think it's a banty because there are like locations on the back and it's like a tour locations and then it says 2015. If you like 
are a five finger death punch stand. Please don't come for me for not knowing and still wearing this shirt anyway. I can't handle bullying, honestly. Next thing I got was this Brandy Melville bodysuit. It's like, I don't know if you even be able to see, but it's really strappy in the back and it's ribbed. Uh, I got it from Depop. I haven't worn it yet because I don't really go anywhere, but I still like it. This is another brandy top. So it is ribbed and it buttons down. I wear this literally all the time, but it's just a good basic to have, honestly. Next I got this shirt. It's like a muscle tee and I really like it because there's like a painting on it. It's really cute graphics. It's like, this shirt is very spicy actually. I got this from a seller on Depop. I'll link her stuff below. She sells really cool shirts like this where it's like a pattern type. This one is like demons eating people. So I kind of like that. It's kind of spicy. I just, <laughs> I need to stop. Next I got this top. I'm pretty sure I got this from Amazon. I don't really remember, but I wore this in an Instagram picture a couple weeks ago. And yeah, I feel like every person, every girl has this shirt. Every IG buddy has their shirt. So I don't know if I want to keep it, but it's definitely my style. And I've really, really, really been into animal print lately. So I don't really care if everybody else has it. Next, these two are kind of similar. I've been into this like bleach look lately. This is uh, Brandy Melville, but it's from Depop. I don't really know if Brandy Melville sells this like this or if the person bleached the shirt. Either way, um, I like it. It's just cool for staying home or if I just want to go somewhere real quick. Same with the red one. After buying this, I kind of realized that I could have 100% done this myself. And she kind of cut the shirt too short. So, I mean, it's really fine if I'm not really going anywhere that important. But it, I feel like I can't lift my arms or anything like that or else... I'll show the whole world my boobs. Next, I got this denim triangle top from Depop. Honestly, I just got this for a specific Instagram picture that I was gonna take, um, which I did take and it looks good. So I might sell this back on Depop. I don't really know yet. I feel like I could do something else with it or style it in some other way, but I really haven't put much thought into that yet. Okay, so those are all the tops. Next, I'm going to go into pants. So first I got these, I want to say acid wash jeans. I got these from Shein. So I've been really into the like loose fitting jeans. I find them a lot more comfortable than skinny jeans were, even though I used to definitely like stand skinny jeans. Like I wouldn't wear anything else, but I just realized that these are a lot more comfortable. I don't want to feel like my legs are being squished squeezed into fabric. Anyway, the next pair of pants I got were these Dickies cargo pants. So these I got while thrifting and I was really excited when I found them. And I usually like to wear these when I go on walks because they're really baggy and then I won't get cat called. So these are really amazing. I, I love that for these pants. Next pair of pants I got were these Express Pants. They are um, actually black and they are corduroy. So I haven't gotten a chance to wear them yet because it's been too hot. These were a medium, but I fixed the waist so now they can fit me because they usually wear a small. I actually got these while thrifting. I got these at Goodwill, I believe. They are like a boot cut fit. And my mom was really surprised when I picked these up because she didn't know that boot cut was back in style. These uh, are the famous TikTok Walmart George jeans. 
I'd seen all the girls on TikTok going to Walmart to buy jeans. So I was like, oh, well, maybe I need to do that too. So me and my sister went. This was the last one they had that was even close to my size. And I still feel like I kind of need to fix the waist. So yeah, I like the straight leg fit and they're very comfortable a lot more comfortable in skinny jeans the next pair of pants i got were these carpenter pants these are from shein and i really like these these are also good for walking when you don't want to get cat called because they're really baggy and not form fitting at all so i can look like a boy and walk in peace the next category i'm gonna do are all these skirts i got so I'm gonna do skirts first. The first skirt I got was this cow print skirt from Depop. Unfortunately, it was too big, so I don't know if I'm gonna do a try on or not, but I still wanted to show it because it's just really cute. Originally, it was from Zara. The next skirt I got was also from Depop, which is this midi skirt and it kind of flares out just the tiniest bit on the bottom. It is like a really dainty floral midi skirt. Um, this is also just the tiniest bit too big. So I don't really know. I would want to sew it somehow, but I don't really know how to mend skirts. So I'm gonna try to figure that out. I can still wear it, but it is just a little bit uncomfortable. The next skirt I got was this plaid skirt. I got this from Depop and I low-key think I might have gotten scammed because the girl that sold it to me, like when it arrived, it was literally just all Shein packaging. So what I think she did was just literally order it from Shein and then ship it to me and I paid about $16 or $17 for this, so she basically doubled the price. And then when I tried to leave a bad review, her account was deleted. She had left. She had fled. So anyway, it's a cute skirt. It's a little thin though, but that's to be expected with she and quality. So it's whatever. Because of that whole fiasco, I was very excited when I went to Value Village and found this plaid skirt the tag says forever 21 i've not really been into forever 21 as of the past few years but this is really nice and it's really thick and good quality and it'll definitely be cute for fall i got another plaid skirt this one is actually from brandy i went to the store in dc with my sisters and it's really, really soft, and I would be excited to wear this for the fall with like a turtleneck, some boots, and like tights. I feel like that would be a really cute, like schoolgirl-esque look. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys the dresses and bodysuits. So first up, we have this brown tie-dye dress. It's really soft, and the straps tie at the shoulders. The brand is Wild Honey, and I got it off Depop. I think the seller said she got it on Melrose, so that's pretty cool. It's really cute. It's really comfortable. Next is this bodysuit from I Am Gia. I got it on Depop. I think I saw iGirl in this. It's just sheer and red. It's like a dark burgundy red um the back are like buckles so that's pretty interesting i haven't worn it out yet because of quarantine but i'm excited for whenever i'm able to the last thing i'm going to show you guys are the shoes i've gotten first up are the parker boots from unif super cute just a platform boot i did a review on them earlier um on my channel so check that out uh they're really high and they're really my style the next shoes i got were these steve madden slinky sandals i really wanted like a 90s style sandal so i decided on these 
I wore them pretty much all summer. They're extremely comfortable. The last shoes I'm gonna show you guys are my Jordan 1 Twist. These are really good. I got them off Goat. I really love that they're black and white and I've never seen a pair of Jordans like this. I think they're really unique and the black part's actually like fluffy or not fluffy. The black part's actually like furry, so they're pretty cute. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want a video styling these shoes. Those are all the clothes that I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Please subscribe. Bye.